guys, Fane, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to refinish a bathtub on a major budget. This bathtub is in a rental property that we are getting ready to sell, so it wasn't in our budget to replace the bathtub. This was a great alternative. This is a temporary solution, it is not long term, but it's a great way to make over a tub on a budget if you can't afford to replace it. Now the refinishing kit that I'm using cost about 25 bucks, so if you have all of the other supplies on hand already, which you might, you could do this for $25. Now, even if you have to buy absolutely all of the supplies needed, you can still do this for under 100 bucks. So I'm gonna walk you through how I did it. I'm gonna link to everything I used in the description box below. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm over at the townhouse getting ready to refinish the bathtub. This is the product I'm using. It's the Rust-Oleum Tub and Tile Refinishing Kit. I have absolutely no experience with this product whatsoever, so I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping this is going to work. There is a short demo video on Home Depot's website on the product page for this, uh, which was really helpful, but I thought it might also be helpful to just show you somebody actually really using it and kind of giving my commentary on it. So that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, here's the tub before. Now it looks dirty, but that's actually where the finish has worn off. It appears that this tub has been painted or refinished before. The first step was to prep the tub, which was actually the most time consuming part of the process. First, I used a razor blade to remove the caulk around the edges of the tub, and I do still need to re-caulk this. So when I show you the after, you'll notice that it hasn't been caulked yet, but I will be doing that very soon. Sometimes it's super easy to remove and will pull off in long strips, and other times it's really stubborn and you just have to chip away at it with your razor blade, which was mostly the case here. Next, I used Comet and an abrasive sponge to clean the tub. The instructions recommend cleaning with Lime Away also, but I didn't have any on hand, so I didn't bother with that step. It didn't seem like this particular tub needed it, but you can assess your own situation and determine whether you feel that's necessary. After cleaning with Comet, I did also clean it with bleach, which I don't have footage of, but again, this is a step you can decide whether you feel is necessary or not. After the tub was clean, I used sandpaper to rough up the surface a bit. The instructions recommend using 400 to 600 grit wet dry sandpaper, and I used 400 grit. After sanding, I used a tack cloth to remove dust and debris and to make sure the surface of the tub was completely clean and smooth. Tack cloth has a wax coating that dust will stick to, so it's great for removing dust particles and loose dirt. Next, I used painter's tape to tape around the edges of the tub and the drain and anywhere I didn't want to get the epoxy. Also laid down a plastic drop cloth to protect the floor. I allowed the tub to dry completely before starting the refinishing process. I cannot stress this enough, the fumes are extremely potent, so you will need a respirator and fans for ventilation. This epoxy acrylic refinishing kit comes with two cans, the base and the activator. First, I stirred each can individually, and then I poured the activator into the base can and stirred it for two minutes straight per the instructions. I poured it into a small paint tray and used a four inch roller to apply it. I just painted it similarly to how I would paint a wall, but with horizontal strokes instead of vertical. I tried to overlap each stroke to ensure that I was keeping a wet edge line the whole time. And I used a small foam brush to get into nooks and crannies and apply the epoxy around the drain. I allowed the first coat to dry for an hour and then I went back in and applied a second coat the exact same way. By the way, I did also paint the front of the tub. The instructions say to remove the painter's tape an hour after applying the second coat, but I only waited about 20 to 30 minutes or so because I didn't want that coat to dry too much before removing the tape because I didn't want the tape to pull away any of the epoxy. And of course my camera died before I peeled the tape off, so please enjoy this iPhone footage. Okay, so I'm back at the townhouse. I worked on the tub yesterday and my camera died right as I was peeling away the painter's tape after the last coat. So I haven't seen it yet, except I peeled the, 
the tape off and then I left immediately because the fumes were so strong. So I haven't seen it since it dried. I'm gonna take you upstairs and we are gonna go look at it together. Um, the one thing I will say is the fumes are so strong that they're still strong today. A day later, when I walked in, it hit me immediately. So definitely wear a respirator for this project. All right, let's go. All right, so moment of truth here. Okay, here's what I will say. It's not perfect, but it is a million times better than before. I'm gonna give you a little shot of the inside of the tub and I'll show you a before and after so you can see the difference, but um, it'll do. It's a temporary solution. It's obviously nothing that's gonna last long term, but it'll do for now while we put this place on the market. And I'm sure the new owners will eventually wanna replace it, so. All in all, I would say it was time and money well spent. Definitely a great alternative if you can't afford to replace a tub. And now for the outtakes. Major budget. Now, thank you, car. My channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make over a, no. <laughs> Get my children running. <laughs> you could. Uh, in Spain and today I'm gonna blah, blah, blah. <laughs> today I'm gonna show you how to in a rental home that we are <laughs> words are hard thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up you can find me online at erinspain.com and on social media at erinspain blog in the meantime please check out some of my other videos thanks